By default, when you type text in your WordPad document, the font is going to be Calibri and the size is going to be 11. And it's going to be plain text, no special formatting, color, or bold or italics applied to it. If I want to go ahead and make the changes to the text, maybe change the font, the size, um, maybe add some emphasis like bold, go ahead and select the text that you want to be able to change. Like, I'm going to go ahead and select this line here. And then come up and click on the drop down arrow for the font. And you can go ahead and hover over the font to notice how it updates behind the scenes here so you can get an idea of what it looks like when you hover over the different types of fonts within the list here. And if you have a particular type of font that you'd like to use, instead of scrolling all the way up and down through it to the M's, just come up here. You can see it's highlighted Calibri and type in M O N O. And it takes me to, well, gives me mono, but it fills in the rest, type Corsica. So if I like that type of font, I can just hit enter on the keyboard and it accepts it. Of course, it doesn't look very legible here, but in any case, if I don't like it, I can come up here and undo it. Well, hit undo again. There we go. I can also change the size. So let me go ahead and click off in the margin so it selects the whole line. Change it from size 11 to size 18. Come down here in the font group, give it bold, italics, uh, underline. Well, we won't do underline, but for a second here. Click on it again to deselect underline. Come over here for color, click on the drop down arrow and you get some colors or you can do more colors. You can actually define the custom colors, type in your RGB codes, red, green, and blue. And whatever those codes are, well, if you type them in and they're not over here, you can say add it, select your add, click okie dokie, click off in a blank area to be able to see your changes. Now you'll notice that when I click off in another area here, like in Sincerely, it gives me up here the font that's being used or applied to that text. But when I click in here, then it shows me that it's Calibri size 18 and the buttons that are highlighted are the current formats that are applied to wherever my cursor's at or within that formatting of text here. And of course, if I want to get rid of it, then I can either hit undo several times or click over here to select the whole line and just click and deselect what I have selected and try to remember what the original size was and change it from well it looks like burgundy to automatic which is black let me go ahead and select it let's do bold underline when you're finished be sure to save your work click on save so when I close out and come back here and right click and say go ahead and open up with wordpad it's there thanks for watching Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.